Guys, hello. Welcome to Tailwinds. My name is Kunal and we're finally back up in the air. Today, I'm with Senior Captain Abdul Halim Saif. Today, both of us, we're going to show you and demonstrate to you how to start our engines all the way to taxi. So first, we're going to enter our hotel mode and from that, we'll move further on. So we have our clearance. Number two is ready. Final cockpit preparation checklist has been complete. The preliminary flight preparation checklist, uh, I mean, the procedures have also been complete. If you do not know about the pre-flight cockpit preparation, there is a video I'll link uh, right below. We did, uh, we did one of those videos as well. So the procedure today, we are currently with a GPUs available. So everything is set, ready to start. So we're gonna turn the pump on. We're gonna turn the wing light on for hotel mode. And we're gonna move the rotary switch to either A, B or A plus B. So since this is not the first start of the day and it's the 30th, so we're gonna use starter B to start. So I'm gonna twist it to Bravo and start two. Once I press start, the non-starting pilot, which will be me in today, uh, I will start time to monitor the start cycle. So from the point this button is pressed up to the NH reaches 45 and the starter goes off. So once you press start, you will, will move the condition to feather. Once the conditions are met that either the ITT is below 200 or the NH is the appropriate amount. So if the ITT is below 100, and uh, NH should be 10% before you can put it to feather. If it is between 100 and 200, you delay the NH by 1% for every 10 degrees. So if it's 150, we'll introduce it at 15%. And if it's above 200, we'll wait until the NH is at 20% to introduce the fuel, but never above 20%. And uh, the ITT has limitations as well. So if during the start the ITT exceeds 950, we immediately shut down the engine. And uh, I have the little table here. So 950, we shut down immediately. Between 840 and uh, 950, we have five seconds until it stabilizes, otherwise we shut down. And 800 to 840, we have 20 seconds. And below that, it's a normal start. After it stabilizes at 45%, the starter will go off and the engine will stabilize. After it's all stable, we'll move to off starter board, turn it back, disconnect the, uh, the GPU, check that the Gen 2 fault light is off, the BTC is connected, and the battery would be showing a positive charge. We will then turn on the seat belts, emergency lights, and the CDLS will come on. We will be in our hotel mode state. So, uh, Captain, take it away. All right, good day, everyone. All right, we're just gonna show how it works on uh, starting now. We start from the top, checking the emergency service, uh, the uh, service door is closed. Then you run to the pump, select the pump, off, see below it's gone. And you come across we have a procedure of the wing lights that we turn on when we need to, do, uh, to turn on the hotel mode propeller brake is engaged now we go we start a bravo on that yet bravo selected now i'm about to start then i ask my colleague ready ready now start it on i move my hand there time hello to open ignition right now we have right it is good check Oil pressure. Oil pressure check. 45. Starter is cut. Checks. We have got how many seconds? 17 seconds. Five Maximum ITT. 594. I check. Stable start. Put it off starter board. We disconnect the DC generator and we check that the generator is producing electric. Then we go signal sign, which is on emergency exit, we lock the locking door on the system. And we release the GPU. Okay. 
So we're in our hotel mode. We can uh, remain here as long as we like until we're ready to uh, rotate the props and start taxiing. <laughs> Guys, a uh, little scene change now in Zanzibar. Uh, we're in our hotel mode and now Captain Safe will demonstrate how to start engine one all the way and rotate engine two. We're currently in hotel mode so the propeller is not moving however we are powered. So take it away Captain. Alright, once again we are about to start uh, engine number one. We request for engine one the uh, uh, Where is after it? again it's the same thing. We normally like to check the doors are all locked. All the doors are locked. Make sure that the pump is running. When it goes to beacon light, we have already finished our checklist. Now we go to start up travel. That's it. Starting one. Uh, I'll have time. All right, timer. ITT is good. NH fuel open. Ignition. Forty-five oil pressure starter is cut, and that was seventeen seconds. Now, one is stabilized, all stable, is off, that's aboard. Now, the test is condition number one. Setting one auto. Single channel one. That means that there is motion on propeller, it's increasing, Check. but there it's NP is zero. Check. No pressure. Now we have to stop it. It's stable, all stable. We have got three by three on the hydraulic. Now we are waiting for the ready light. Ready light is in, propeller brake. Now we request to release number two. Two is clear, my side. Clear. Now we we'll put it to off position. It's guarded switch, so just lift the switch. Unlock, ready, and look at the engine now. It's in green. And we have condition of two. Now condition of the number two. Out two. two auto. Single channel two. Okay. So the NP is now accelerating. Low pitch two. And now we'll, uh, with the engine number one on auto, we got the ACW Gen 1 with the BTC. Now this one's back. So we have all the hydraulics. The procedure now is to turn on the anti ice and de ice, test your anti skids, and collapse 15. We're now ready for taxi. Hope you've enjoyed the video guys and uh, stay tuned for hotel modes. We'll be explaining that in detail with Captain Safe soon. Bye bye.